I'm John Penn, founder of SSE. Today is for me an incredibly sad day. Our highly successful business has just had to make 50 staff redundant, a quarter of our workforce. For every one of them, it's a personal tragedy with the loss of a rewarding job and bringing them insecurity and worry. It's not just us, this is happening right across the UK rental sector, up and down the country. I've seen this company grow since I started in my garage 45 years ago. It's been my life's work. Our company has always been driven by innovation, finding better ways to make shows sound better, to give musicians and audiences a better experience. And in this way, we've grown from strength to strength. We've seen SSE Audio, along with our other UK group companies of Wigwam, Capital Sound and BCS Audio, grow to become the largest audio services supplier in the UK. Just before lockdown, we were given the accolade of favourite sound company again in the annual TPI Awards, and we were gearing up in what promised to be our biggest summer ever, where we have calculated we would point our speaker systems to a total paying audience of close to 10 million people. Outside of the event industry, we're not very well known. Along with hundreds of other companies and thousands of freelance staff, we're in the background, in the shadows, which is where we're supposed to be. We're meant to be kind of invisible, just part of the magic of performances. The country is being urged to return to work, but our sex sector can't go back to work anytime soon. We're not allowed to. Our jobs depend on large gatherings of people, and that's simply not possible this year. To be viable, most commercial live events, tours and gigs need to have near capacity audiences. So while test performances to socially distant audience, audiences may sound like the road to recovery, we shouldn't be kidding ourselves. Even when the government say our work can resume, it takes time to plan big gatherings and events, months, not weeks, so there's little prospect of a resumption of our work until well into next year. The furlough scheme has been great, but it now needs targeting where it's still needed. As furlough stops, so redundancies are being announced right across the industry. We will have no choice but to cut our costs further to, cons to conserve the funds we have left to enable us to keep afloat until we can safely return to work sometime next year. Our business and our industry has contributed huge amounts to the UK, not just to the enjoyment and feel good that we generate, but also through the taxes we've paid and to GDP. The touring and event industry ge generates billions in revenue to the UK economy. Unlike many other enterprises that contribute to the UK's cultural industry, we don't need Arts Council grants, lottery funding or wealthy benefactors because we're commercially successful in our own right. Back when I started this business, we weren't taken seriously by banks and financial institutions. We weren't seen as a proper business to invest in. We found it hard to borrow. But we fought that prejudice as an industry to the point where we became a massive success story for Great Britain PLC. So now it's time for us to have a lifeline. It's a pretty safe bet. If UK PLC invests in our industry now, it will soon pay dividends. The government needs to act now. Our workforce, they're not just a bunch of roadies. Despite their often casual appearance, they're a highly skilled, technically trained bunch of extremely hard-working men and women. Their apprenticeship takes years, but they have huge life skills that are transferable to other fields. If we're forced to make even more of them redundant in the coming months, when the time comes to finally get back to work, we won't have enough of the skilled people left to be able to deliver. This applies to all the companies in this sector. Remember all those huge memorable events you've witnessed? Not forgetting that wonderful 2012 Olympic opening ceremony. 
That's what we do and why we're seen as the best in the world. Finally, to everyone, everyone in this wonderful industry, these are difficult times for all of us. Get behind the action we're taking to get the attention of the government and the media. Get involved next Tuesday, August the 11th. We make events. It's Red Alert.